The next piece of equipment that we're gonna add are called Vienna reins. And when you look at them, they have two long straps that come out, almost like the length of reins, and they have one strap that goes under his chest and attaches to either the surfingle or the saddle and the girth underneath. So when you're putting these on, obviously what you have to establish first is that the horse is gonna stand still. Because when you start putting things under their body, what happens if they start moving and they get tangled or they get spooked is that you might be a part of that. So what I do with my Vienna reins is I put my left Vienna over the left side of his neck. You can reach around and I put my right Vienna over the right side of his neck. And so now all I have is not something that the horse can get or I can get entangled in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach my Vienna rein on my surcingle. I do have a couple of places to put. I have a couple of rings on the bottom of this surcingle to be able to put the Vienna reins. Okay, so I'm gonna pick the center ring to be able to attach. When I'm Vienna reining a horse, especially if you've never done it before, I'm gonna put the buckle as low as I can go on one, and I'll show you how to judge how to take the slack up in your Vienna rein. So my first buckle that attaches to my surcingle, I'm gonna put as loose as one. When I walk up, I'm gonna take my left Vienna rein, and I'm gonna run it through the bit from the inside out. And so when you look at this buckle and you're attaching a rein to a bit, I'm gonna run the rein from the closest point of the horse inside to the outside away from the horse. And where I'm gonna attach it, especially on a surcingle, I have a couple of options. There are high rings, middle rings, and then I can even go as low as even being around the girth strap if I'm looking for something different. So if I'm just starting on a horse that's never done Vienna reins before, I'm gonna attach them to the side ring. This is the most neutral kind of position to be able to put them. And again, I'm gonna start on one as far as my buckle goes. I'm gonna do the same thing on the right side of the horse. So when I walk around to the right side and I'm first attaching the rein, I'm gonna take my right rein, run my rein from the inside of the bit ring to the outside because then this attaches in my middle ring on my surcingle. Good boy, Sammy. Part of the reason why we're doing hole number one on our Vienna reins is to give our horse a chance to also warm up. So as soon as I put this system on, what you're gonna notice is you're gonna notice that his head got a little bit lower. His angle from the top of his ears down to his nose got a little straighter. So when you watch the video of him just lunging, when he was lunging, his head was up, it was free. He could bend any direction he wanted. When I'm putting a system on and I'm starting to put his head down and put him more on the collection and on the bit, then I wanna put my points on one so that I give the horse the chance to not feel like they're trapped within the system. It's gonna eliminate a lot of accidents too. So when I'm putting on a system, especially on a horse that's never had one before, I don't want them to feel so confined that they start backing because once they start backing, what they end up doing is sometimes they choose to go over backwards because they can't get away from the pressure. So part of starting on one on all of our buckles is to make sure and eliminate that feeling of him feeling confined. We're gonna go back to our lunging circle exactly like we started. We're gonna track left. Okay, good boy. He's gonna walk towards, if you set your whip down, you can get back to it. The thing I like to do is make, create some space between my horse and myself. When I'm going down to get the whip, I'm keeping my body towards the horse and looking at the horse so I don't take my eyes off of where he is and where I'm directing him, okay? I've got my left hand on my lunging strap. I've got my slack in my right. You're gonna watch him. So what we're looking for in a Viennerine section is I'm looking to create the shape of the circle by bending the horse in the direction that I'm going. So when I'm looking at Sammy right now, when he comes around in the circle and you look straight down the middle of his body, he has a slight bend to his right side. I want to create shape where he bends slightly to the left because that's the direction I'm going. Unless I'm intentionally bending him to the outside and I don't do that typically on a lunge line or on a circle. But to confirm this, knowing I need to change the number on the buckle on the Vienna reins, I'm going to go ahead and let him trot. So this is just a loose system. There's a little bit of contact, but you can see there's some bounce in the Vienna reins. So when I'm looking under his chest, the reins are actually flopping and bouncing. 
That's one way that I know I can tighten my system. The other way I can know I can change my buckles and tighten my system is based on the direction that his head is bending. So when he's coming around in the circle, I want a little bit more bend from him towards the left because this is the direction I'm going. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk in and I'm going to change my system now that I've seen the horse, now that I know he's not upset by being in the system, we're going to take up a little bit of slack. So in general, when I want to bend and shape a horse in the direction I'm going, I'll go between two and four holes different in my Vienna rain system. So when I want to change, I'm on one, one, and one. So now that I know I need a little bit more inside bend, I'm going to actually go up probably four total holes. So I'm going to put this on four and leave the outside on one. The other thing I'm going to do, so this is going to create a little bit shorter rain on the inside, a little bit longer rain on the outside, only just a slight bend to the inside. I don't want them so tight that I take the horse's head too far to the inside because that changes the way he tracks his body. You want his body to come through, track through and be straight. If you have too much bend, then you're gonna throw the horse's shoulder outside of the circle, okay? I am gonna tighten my lower strap as well. So I have this on one as well to start with. So I'm gonna go up probably about halfway. So I have in this specific line, I'm gonna go up to hole four as well. Let's see if that takes the bounce out of our system, out of our reins. Because if you think about when you're riding, we don't bounce and flop our reins when we're riding. And so when you're training them in a system that has reins, that's working on collection and framing, you don't want your reins to bounce, especially against your bit in your system. Okay, so let's try this new, the new holes. So we've gone up just a little bit to create bend to run. So I'm gonna watch him on the lunge line now. So I still have a little bit of bounce in my Vienna rein system. Believe me, you would rather gradually work your way up when you're creating shorter space in your reins, when you're tightening the reins. He's got a nice frame though. If you look at him from the ears down to his nose, he's on what's called the vertical. Okay, so his head, ears down to his nose is a straight line. You're also looking at the direction he's going. I've got some good shape now tracking to the left. So he's no longer bending to the outside, but my system still has a little bit of flop in it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a downward transition again. Good boy. Oh. I'm gonna tighten my system again. So when I come up, I'm gonna go a few holes up again. So I still wanna keep my inside bend. I do need to go up at least two holes on this side. So I'm gonna be about six holes on my left bend, but I only want a difference of four holes in my bending rein. So when I walk to my opposite side, I'm gonna make sure that I take my outside rein up as well to two. So my inside rein is on six, my outside rein is on two. So there's a four hole difference just to create a little bit of shape in the bend. I'm gonna go ahead and take my bottom line up to take a little bit of bounce out. So I have a few more holes showing. I'm gonna take the slack out of my bottom rein so that I can take some of the bounce out in the Vienna reins themselves. So I went up another two holes on my bottom strap. So now when you look at the system, I've taken out a lot of the slack in the rein. And gradually what you can do is you work a horse and say you wanna create even more shape or more collection as you can keep shortening the holes. You wanna to get to a point though, if you have a horse in such a short system that ends up being what's called behind the vertical. So when you look at this angle, when his ears and his nose no longer line up, he's at the vertical here. But if I have my reins too tight, and you can even see him backing, it's called what's behind the vertical. And what that creates is tension in his pole, tension in his jaw, and he's not really collecting the way we want him to. We want him to be in a straight line at the vertical here. We don't want him behind the verticals because as you can see, it tightens everything up. He even backs off of that pressure. If you're having trouble getting your horse moving your system, you can see me doing is just walking with him a little bit sideways. I'm just trying to get him to where he feels in the tighter system, comfortable working on a circle, okay? So you still see the shape I'm creating, good boy. Creating the shape from the nose to the ears, the ears to the nose is the, at the vertical. I've got a little less slack in my line now in my Vienna rein under his chest. To run. Good boy. 
So now as you watch the system, it's got a little less slack in it. Good boy, he's still at the vertical trotting. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm comfortable with the length of how far I've shortened and how far I've lengthened the system. Now I'm starting to do the work. Now that I have my system in place, I know that I can then go to the canter and I can work on transitions. Canter, good boy, good boy. 